All right, let's look at applying long division. So we have the polynomial 6x cubed minus 5x squared minus 10x plus 27, and we're trying to divide uh, by 3x plus 5. So first start by setting up your long division. So we have our divisor of 3x plus 5, and we're trying to divide it into, remember on this one you have to make sure every power is represented. So we have a power of 3, so it needs to come down to power 2 come down to power of 1 and come down to power of 0. As you can see in this case everything is represented so we don't have to worry about filling for any of the powers. So long division of polynomials is exactly what we've been learning from long division with just numbers. So if you kind of forget about this one you can always go back and try like a regular example and follow the same steps. So when we do long division your first step is to divide. What do we mean by divide? You take the first term of your divide of your polynomial inside, so our first term is 6x cubed, and we divide it by the first term of your divisor. So the first term of our divisor is 3x. So we end up with 6 over 3 is 2, x cubed over x, one x is can cancel, so we're left with x squared. This is the number that's going to go up in our quotient. So we have 2x squared. Step two is you take your, remember, anything that goes in your quotient gets multiplied by your divisor. So you think about 2x squared needs to get multiplied by 3x plus 5. So that's how we get 2x squared times 3x. We're going to end up with 6x cubed and 2x squared times 5, we're going to end up with 10x squared. This is what's coming down here. 6x cubed plus 10x squared. And just like you the normal division, you have to subtract. So by subtracting means we change all of the signs. This is positive, so it's going to become negative. This is positive, so it's also going to become negative. So we end up with 6x cubed minus 6x cubed, and that's what we're looking for. We're looking for to canceling, to adding to 0 the first term. So now we have negative 5x squared minus another 10x squared. So it comes down to negative 15x squared, and don't forget to bring everything else down. So from here, you just have to repeat, repeat the process all over again. So now our first term is, I'm going to put it over here, negative 15x squared, and we're still dividing by the first term of your divisor, which is 3x. So negative 15 over 3 simplifies to negative 5, x squared over x, one of our x's cancel, so now the number that comes up in our quotient is negative 5x. So we take our negative 5x, and it has to get multiplied by your divisor. So we end up with negative 5x times 3x. So we end up with negative 15x squared, and we end up with negative 5x times 5. So we end up with negative 25x. Now we need to subtract, so that means change all of your signs. This is negative, so it's going to become positive. This is negative, so it's also going to become positive. Negative 15x squared plus 15x squared will add up to 0. We have negative 10x plus 25x, so they're going to combine to positive 15x. Bring down your plus 27 and just repeat the process all over again. My new term is 15x divided by the first term of your divisor, which is 3x. 15 over 3 is 5. Your x's are going to cancel, so what goes up in our quotient is plus 5. And we multiply this 5 by our divisor. 5 times 3x will be 15x. 5 times 5 will be 25. From here, we have to subtract, so we change all of our signs. So we end up with 15x minus 15x, they add up to 0. Here we have 27 minus 25, we end up with 2. So this 2 here represents your remainder. So how do we write the solution of this one? You take your quotient, so the division, the, the 
3x plus 5 goes into 6x cubed minus 5x squared minus 10x plus 27. The amount of times of 2x squared minus 5x plus 5. And if you end up with the remainder, you take your remainder and put it over your divisor. And that's our answer.